To create a roof, let's go to a plan view and open the roof tool. Now we can create a sketch of our roof boundaries by selecting walls. We can select the green check mark to finish our roof. In this dialog, select Yes to attach the walls to the bottom of the roof. In the 3D view, we can see our new roof with default properties. After selecting the roof, we can make simple changes by editing the footprint. When selecting a line, notice that we can change its overhang and slope. We can also select all the lines and change these properties at the same time. Let's increase the overhang by one foot and decrease the slope to four twelfths. We can also edit the actual footprint by deleting lines or adding new ones. When finished, select the green check mark and our 3D view will reflect these changes. We can also change the roof properties after we have selected it. If the roof is in the wrong place, we can give it a new base constraint. We can also select the roof and change its type. Instead of using default properties to create roofs, we can change the slope of the boundary lines or we can choose not to assign slopes to boundary lines in order to create a wide range of roof shapes. Start by making a flat roof by selecting all the boundary lines and removing their slopes. When finished, let's return to a 3D view. And from here we can see our new flat roof. Once a roof is placed, we can put in voids, openings, or skylights. Edit the roof's footprint and draw the desired shape of the ceiling hole. Finish the sketch in order to see the completed hole. We can also make a void in the ceiling using the vertical opening tool. Select the surface to place the opening and then sketch the opening. Finally, we can place an actual skylight. If the skylight component is not available, we must load it in from the library. Under Windows, we are able to find the skylight component. Once the skylight is loaded into the project, we can select that type and place them on the ceiling as if they were windows. Using this method is good because it creates voids and adds the windows and trims all in one step. Now let's experiment with more shapes by making a shed roof. When editing the footprint, remove all slopes except for one. When finished, select the green check mark and we can return to our 3D view to see our new roof. Now let's see what happens if we change the wall that we have defined a slope for.
In the 3D view, we can see that whatever edge has been assigned a slope will project that slope in both directions. In this case, this leaves us with a small wall on the south side of the structure. Now let's create another roof shape. By assigning a slope to parallel boundary lines, we can create gables at the ends of the structure. When finished, let's switch to a 3D view to see what this looks like. Now let's fine tune the roof edges. Select the roof and review the construction type properties. We can change the rafter cut or the depth. Let's start by changing the depth. When finished, we will notice that this decreases the depth of the edge of the roof. Now, let's change the rafter cut to two cut square. Notice that the edge is now at a 90 degree angle with the bottom of the roof. We can see this better if we increase the depth again. Now, the 90 degree angle is very apparent. Next, let's change the type to a plum cut. Now the edge is perpendicular to the ground. For this type of cut, it is not necessary to enter a fascia depth. Finally, we can choose whether we want the roof to be made from rafters or trusses. To demonstrate the next feature, let's start by giving two edges different overhang lengths. In the 3D view, it is obvious that these two eaves don't line up. To fix this, select the roof and edit its footprint. Now open the Align Eaves tool, choose the line to use as a base point, then select the boundary line you wish to be moved. Now we can see that the eaves line up properly. With the Roof tool, we can also do things like add fascias and gutters. To do this, we can select the tool, and then we will choose the edges we would like to place the gutters on. To create a new roof type, we will start by duplicating an existing one. Let's first select the roof and edit the type. Duplicate it and give it a new name. Let's make a Spanish tile roof. Now select the structure. We can now see each layer of the roof and its material. Let's select the finished layer material in order to create our new type. For this example, we will duplicate an existing material. And let's call this new material Spanish tile. Next, to select this material, give it a new surface pattern, and assign it a color.
When finished, we can see that our new type has been applied to our model. Using this structure, let's create a roof from an extrusion. First, let's switch to an elevation view to draw a work plane. This line symbolizes the edge of a plane that is going into the screen. After we draw the plane, we can select it and rename it. Now let's open the Roof from Extrusion tool, then find the plane that we have just created. This will allow us to draw on the plane. Switching back to the elevation view, we can now sketch the desired shape of the roof using any of the tools. When finished, we can select the green check mark to complete our sketch. In a 3D view, we can see that the line has been extruded across the whole structure. Now we can select all the walls. And choose to attach them to the new roof. If desired, we can select the roof and change its roof type. Or we can select it and choose to edit its profile. When finished, select the green arrow again, and the changes will be applied to our model. Finally, we can select the roof, and we can extend the boundaries if necessary.